Hello everyone, I'm Exo Miss Canada and welcome back to Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, another story. Here we are still at the shrine with Makoto and Rei. Here's Amy. see here they're I mean they're teenage girls they're all about boys and it seems that Amy Chan has a boyfriend even though she won't admit it she wants to go to the library because she's such a nerd they don't believe her but I mean it's Amy she's actually going to go to the library She's convinced when she's older, she'll be able to be his girlfriend. About this time in the series, they're probably about 14, I think. In the um, anime, Arawa-kun is like Amy's sort of um, equal, I guess you could say. That's Yurichiru in the English translation. I think his name is Chad or something like that. Ray won't admit that they like each other. What's weird about this is Usagi's like 13, 14, and I think uh, Mamoru is supposed to be like 18, 19. It's a little weird in my opinion, but I mean, if they're destined, I guess, it works out fine. I don't know. It's, it's all a little weird to me, personally. Me three. Of course, them being good friends, they decide, oh, we're going to follow her and watch her on her date, because they're nosy. And the grounds that they're worried. Later on in the game, you'll be able to um, get on the bus to take you to different districts of Tokyo, but you'll have to pay. Not very much. It's like, I think this game is in the end. I don't know. Whatever. But whatever the currency is, it's like 35. It's not very much. You, maybe it's gold. We'll have to check on that. But considering you can get like 500 gold or whatever from a battle and it's 35, it's really nothing. Especially later in the game when you actually need to use the bus. Of course, she's not going to see them hiding behind a tree, let's be honest here. So, first you're going to talk to everybody. Of course, I'm running around seeing if I'm missing anything like a Luna Pea Ball. As you might have seen earlier in the last video, the Luna P Ball is the only place you can save. It's like your checkpoint or save point. There's the Luna P Ball. You know, the little weird people leaving. That guy just walked into the column and 
never actually exited. I mean, I don't think this is like platform nine three quarters. Oh, I can tell by the change of music, something bad is happening. There's a monster in there, get out of the way! He ran to the calm too. The mo monster trapped a boy in there. Who do you think it is? It's up to you to go check it out. Traditional RPG style, all the characters kind of like run into you. Here's the main menu. Um, this is the makeup links. Basically how this works is that you set- I'm struggling with this, I'm sorry. But you can combine different um, Sailor Senshi and like make combos with them, which is what I told you the partner attacks earlier. That's what that is. And then you can also form, I guess, group planted attacks or whatever that all of the- all your party members can use. So I'm just gonna go through and get all of the partner attacks that are possible. As you can tell with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 of them. There's a lot of combinations because you can combine everyone with everyone. So I'm gonna do this and I'll get back to you. And we're back. Um, as you can see, now we're going through, um, from the menu, you can look at all of the different link texts, I guess they're called. It tells you exactly who you need to do them. Um, you can only ever have a maximum of five people in your party, so if there's ever certain link attacks that you want to do, then you're gonna have to have those characters in your party. Um, some people, for like Sailor Moon, Chibiusa, um, even Sailor Venus, usually that's the best way to go because they're weak on their own. Um, but yeah, really, you can get by with or without them, it doesn't really matter. They transform. Okay, so now we're gonna go inside. Alright. Yeah, saving is always a good idea. Um, what I find in this game, actually, if you want to do really well, you actually require a lot of level grinding. Especially for later in the game. Okay, we're gonna adjust our formation. Um, you can actually choose the positions in which they attack. Um... They also have little bios along with their stats. Um, as you can see, Usagi's weak in defense and her speed isn't great, I think it was. Um, Mercury, her defense is lower. I mean, right now they're all lower by like one point. Defense is Mars's weak point. So right now, probably at this stage, all of their defenses are pretty low. Oh. Jupiter's pretty balanced, but basically where you put them in the formation, um, especially in this, um, I mean, usually if they're further to the back, they're not, their defense could be higher, but their attack will be weaker. Um, so you want to put your hardest hitters with the lowest defense here at the back, so then they can still attack and be protected, and you want those with the highest defense near the front. Onwards, back onto the train. And that's the sign of a battle. Uh, this is a combatter. We're gonna use Supreme Thun Thunder. Fire Soul. What's it mean? For the most part, these are attacks where it's the anime. Who attacks first, it really depends on their speed. Um, 
need more EP, which is the MP in this game. The little diamond things. Um, so basically now everyone who doesn't have enough EP to attack has to do a normal melee sort of attack. Which, for obvious reasons, does not as much damage as their special attacks. That battle we got, okay it is yen. They all leveled up, got 400 yen, and we also got a life water, which is like a potion. Um, those are all of our items that we have so far. The Moon Cup and the Moon Cup 2 allow uh, Usagi and Chibiusa to transform to, I guess, their super sailor forms or whatever. Also, we took a quick look at the equipment screen there. And we don't have any items to equip right now, but we will in the future. Same sort of guy. As you can see, now that they've gained levels, their EP has greatly increased. So they'll be able to do more of their attacks and more often. Also, um, their melee attacks will always only attack one enemy, but their special attacks, it'll say like multiple or single and it'll tell you whether or not it's going to hit multiple targets or not. What we're seeing here is a dual attack, which means two Sailor Scouts are going to use their AP EP and attack together. Oh, they never had the chance to actually attack though, so they leveled up again. Got him back safe and sound. That's another thing about Uralakun. Um, he has visions. That's why he's able to be as smart as Amy, because he can actually, like, see what the answers are and things like that. I mean, he's smart in his own right, but he's a little psychic. Basically, what he's telling her is that people have been changing the past and the future. But that's it for now. So... See you next time on Let's Play Sailor Moon Another Story.